Hello friends. It is so good to be with you today. My name is Dana and I am the Youth Services Librarian at the St. Louis Park Library in Hennepin County. And I have been really missing you all. Um, I miss story times and I miss seeing library patrons and recommending books, but I am I'm very grateful that everyone is staying home and staying safe. So today we are going to be bringing you a family story time and um, this story time is going to be a little different than normal uh, family story times at the St. Louis Park Library. Um, it's a little shorter and I'm on my couch and you're in your homes and you can see me but I can't see you. Um, but in a lot of ways story time is going to be uh, similar. So we're going to read stories and sing songs. Um, and talk about fun things to do together. And grownups, at any time, you can pause this video and um, have a conversation with your kids about what you're seeing or what you sang about, and we encourage you to do that. So we're gonna start our story time today with a hello song. And this is the hello song that I use, and um, it has American Sign Language in it. And American Sign Language is a language used by the deaf community and our friends who are hard of hearing. And so um, I really like using this song because it's how I learned how to say hello to them. And in this song, uh, there are a couple signs where normally we'd be touching our face. I'm just gonna hold my hand a little bit away from my face for those signs. And I encourage you to do the same since we are trying really hard to not touch our faces these days. So I'm gonna teach you the four signs that we use in this song. The first one is hello. We take our hand and then we're gonna put it up by our forehead and then we pull it away. And this is how we say hello. So if you have any friends in the deaf community, you can say hello to them just like this. The next word we're gonna learn is friends. We take this finger and this finger and they're gonna give each other hugs. Very good. Our next word is time. We take our finger and we tap our watch or our wrist if you're not wearing a watch. <laughs> and then the last sign is the word say. We take our finger, put it on our chin or by our chin, and we pull it away. So we're gonna put all of that together, those four signs. Let's review them. We had hello and friends, time, and say. We're gonna sing our hello song two times and please sing along with me once you get the hang of it. Here you go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Our first story today is one of my very favorites. And one of the reasons it's my favorites is um, in this story, there's lots of opportunities for us to stand up and do really big movements. Now, I'm gonna stay seated so that the camera can still see me, um, but I encourage you anytime we're running or climbing uh, to get up and wiggle um, as much as you'd like. I don't know about you, but I've been feeling pretty cooped up since I've been staying at home. And um, one really good thing about wiggling and using big movements is not only is it great for getting your energy out or exercise, but it's also something that is really helpful. When we're using those gross motor skills, it's gonna also help you develop those fine motor skills. And those are really important when it comes time to learning how to write or learning how to turn a page. So movement is good for many reasons. Now this story is called, It's a tiger and in this story we are going to be looking for a tiger because we're going on an adventure so can you get out your imaginary binoculars because we are going to be looking for a tiger this book was written by david la rochelle and it was illustrated by jeremy tankard are you ready here we go it's a tiger! Do you see a tiger? Can you find it? 
Is there one? Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute. That's not a monkey. That looks like a tiger. Run! Can you run? Run, 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 run! Run away from that tiger. Oh my goodness. We're gonna push aside these vines and we'll hide inside this cave. Oh, this dark cave, duck your head. And I hear flap, flap, flap. Watch out for those bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. In fact, one of those shadows looks like a tiger. How did he get in here? Hurry, we're gonna climb that ladder and we'll make our escape. So grab onto your ladder and we're gonna climb. Climb up that ladder and out of the cave. Oh, sunshine. Doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh, snakes. Hundreds of them. If we're very quiet, shh, we're gonna be very quiet and we can tiptoe past. Can you tiptoe? Okay, I see blue snakes and green snakes and even a great big fuzzy snake that looks just like a tiger! Run, 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 run! Yikes, he's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for that rope. So can you grab your rope above your head and we're gonna swing across this canyon now. Let go, and whomp. Can you give a big whomp? <gasps> whomp, very good. We made it. Good thing we landed someplace soft. A bed of flowers? Or is it a pile of leaves? Is it a giant orange and black pillow? No. We landed on top of a tiger! Now we're really in trouble! Quick, we're gonna climb this rock, climb up the rock, and slide down the hill. Bumpity, 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 bump. Yes, I see. What do you see through your binoculars? I see a boat. Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Oh, big sigh of relief. <sighs> Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before. Have you? You don't think it could be. On, so clip your life jacket, clip, clip, clip. And we're gonna jump overboard or we'll end up as lunch. And we're gonna swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. I know you're tired, but don't slow down. We're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid, I bet we'll find treasure. What do you think? A tiger! <laughs> and he wants to eat us. Roar. Can you give a big roar? Roar. Oh, very scary. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. If we scratch his ears, scratch, 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 and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. Better yet, let's tell him a story. I love bedtime stories. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a crocodile. Oh, well, well, this is the last page of the story in, in this book. 
But what I like about how this story ends is that the adventure could just be beginning for this crocodile. So that means that you could be the person to finish that story. So that might be a fun activity to do. You could write your own picture book called It's a Crocodile and um, tell us what happens to our main character or maybe some different characters um, when they find a crocodile in the, in the forest. So that could be a fun writing or drawing activity or maybe it's a, a play that you put on. But another activity you could do is uh, we had our imaginary binoculars. Now, I used some toilet paper tubes and I decorated them with some tape, but you also could use markers or stickers. And I made my own set of binoculars. And um, what we could do with these is next time you go out on a walk um, in that fresh air and sunshine, you could be on the lookout and see what sort of animals you can spot with your binoculars. I don't know, maybe you'll find a tiger. It doesn't hurt to try. So now that we've read that story and we had our imaginary binoculars, we're gonna take out our imaginary bubble gum. So can you take your bubble gum out of your pocket and unwrap it and put it in your mouth and chew it up. What flavor is your bubble gum? Mine's watermelon. Okay, we're gonna blow a bubble together. Are you ready? Blow it with me, here we go. Can we make this bubble bigger? I think so. Is that big enough? Let's keep blowing. Can we make it even bigger? Okay, one more big blow, here we go. Pop! Oh no, I got bubble gum in my hair. Did you get bubble gum in your hair? Pick it out of your hair. Is it on your shirt? Oh, pick that bubble gum off your shirt. Oh no. All right, so now you should just have bubble gum on your hands and they're very sticky. So for this song, we can have sticky hands like this or you could clap those sticky hands together. I'm gonna be playing my ukulele. This is my ukulele. And um, you can also do air ukulele if you wanted. So this is the sticky, sticky, sticky bubblegum song. Sticky, sticky, sticky bubblegum. song you could try. I'm sure you've been trying lots of different hand washing songs and maybe you know this one. Um, it's a little bit short and so you could sing it two to three times if you wanted while washing your hands. We're gonna sing it twice together. So 
it goes. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean. Squeaky clean, one more time. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together, now they're clean. Squeaky clean, fantastic. Nice clean hands. So our next story is by Catherine Madeline Allen. She wrote all the words. And we have photographs. So these are pictures of real people, and in particular, real kids. And those photographs were taken by someone named Eric Futron. So I really like these, this author and this photographer. They do a lot of really lovely books that have real pictures. And I think it's just a really great way to see um, different people in our community and doing everyday things. And this one in particular reminded me of some of the activities you might be doing while you're at home right now. So this is called Show Me Happy. And I also like it because you can see what facial expressions uh, on real people look like. And so grown-ups, this might be uh, one where you pause and you look at the pictures and or the photographs and you talk about maybe what the characters might be feeling. So show me happy. I wonder what that first feeling is going to be. And they have all sorts of different faces and happiness looks different for all of them. They all are showing us what happiness, happy looks like a little differently. Here we go. Show me happy. She's smiling and she's happy. And show me helping. Have you been helping out? Um, this kid is helping his grown up with the cooking. Have you been helping? Show me up and show me down the slide. Show me holding, oh, sleepy baby. And show me giving, what a nice thing to do. Show me hiding and show me found. Peekaboo. <laughs> Show me pushing and show me pulling. Show me sharing when we play. Oh, that's really important to do, isn't it? It's nice that they're sharing their Legos. That's not always easy. Show me noisy. And the opposite of noisy. Show me Show me putting things away. I've been doing a lot of putting things away in the last couple of weeks, making a mess and then cleaning up. It's important. Show me a little and show me big. Oh, I like that this friend is looking at his bigger friend. Show me one and show me 10. Now with some kisses and some hugs. Oh, I think that puppy probably likes getting a hug. Let's show we're happy to be friends. And I'm so happy that we're friends. And I know that I've been missing some of my friends that I haven't been able to get to see in person. And so um, I've been writing some letters and I've been doing um, some phone calls with those friends um, just to make sure that um, they know that I'm thinking about them, just like I'm thinking about all of you. So we are gonna sing our goodbye song. It is time to say goodbye, but before we do that, I just want to um, remind you of a couple things. The first is keep tuning in for our virtual story times on Facebook. We'll be here again on Thursday for baby story time and then next Tuesday for family story time. And um, I also encourage you to check out our website, hclib.org. 
We have a bunch of resources that you um, can access from your computer or from your phone or tablet if you have one. And there are things like ebooks and audiobooks and um, homework resources. So there's lots of fun things on that website. I'm still exploring all of the things. Um, but one thing in particular I've really been enjoying is getting audiobooks to listen to. I know that we've been really enjoying at our house uh, putting audiobooks on while we've been cleaning or cooking or doing a puzzle together. So it's just another option for you um, while we wait to get back to our physical books in our, in our buildings. Um, well, I hope you have a wonderful week and um, it's, gonna, it's time now to sing our goodbye song. So uh, we remember our goodbye song is similar to our hello song, but instead we're gonna say goodbye where we take our hand and fold it in half. And then we'll say friends, time, and say. We'll do this twice. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. One more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing stories with me today. Um, and I hope you keep talking and singing and reading and writing and playing all week long. And we'll see you next time. Take care.